Hello, hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Um, and welcome, welcome if you're new here. Nice to have you. Um, this is week three of my summer scavenger hunt, uh, seek, gather, seek, gather and create. And this week we needed to find something blue, something fabric, an old photograph and a barcode. So I've got an old photograph of my daughter there, who's about one in that picture, I think. She's 12 now. Um, and I've got a stripy blue sweetie bag and some fabric there, but bits of lace, um, plus that little bit of fabric there with the birds on and a little barcode that's on some cardboard. Um, and as this is a photograph of my daughter, I wanted to keep it sort of um, very much around sort of childhood and memories and um, the fabric really played an important part in this <clears throat> sort of going on that she's my little bird um, which is something I call her so uh, grabbing these little blue butterflies I knew that I wanted them in a in a line so I just grabbed a bit of eco dyed fabric and that's what I'm doing here I'm just sewing them in a line there we go that's just to start us off and the only other plan I had for this page was that I knew I wanted to use a corner of that little sweetie bag as a pocket which is what I'm doing there and I um, decided to use a bit more of the bag for some collage so just ripping off a few pieces and I grab just some extra scraps from my stash to add into that Uh, stick them all down with uh, some matte medium. Now, if you're uh, not aware yet of the challenge, it's um, this is a challenge that's been running over August. Um, every Sunday, um, me and my co-hosts, Tina, Mel and Laura, um, have been posting up four items for you to find and then you can use them to create a piece of artwork. It doesn't have to be art, it can be anything. And then posting up whatever you create with the hashtag seek gather create this is uh, all hosted over on my instagram channel so if you want to head over there you can find out all the details and i'll link uh, my co-hosts down below as well so you can check them out and you can also go to the hashtag seek gather create and see what everyone else has been creating and there's uh, there's been some really really lovely responses that we've had some really fantastic artwork So grabbing my masking tape just to add a little bit more interest and to help stick, some, stick down some of those bits of collage. Looking back at the page now, I think perhaps I went a little bit overboard with the stripy bag. Um, but it is what it is. And uh, I was taking that as my something blue. Although I do have the blue butterflies in there as well. I'm just adding some gesso now to bring this all together. And it does help mute it a little bit as well. Okay. I play around a lot with uh, the different bits and bobs, not quite knowing where I wanted to place things. Um, I wanted this little bird fabric dotted about, sort of go, to go with the, with the photograph of my daughter. And um, I also wanted to add some more colours in, um, oh I'm just drying it quickly first, but I grabbed some soft pastels. And um, I go for my daughter's favourite colours to add to the page. So her favourite, her main favourite colour is yellow. So that's what I'm adding here. And I'm just rubbing that in with my fingers. And that weaving on the back there, that's it's kind of nice using pastels on on uh, on weaving like that because it sort of picks up the texture of it really nicely. And then uh, pink is her second favourite. So this time I'm using a bit of water 
on the pastel just to sort of turn it into a bit of a watercolour um, paint and just spreading that round here and there. I also use the, the brush there to just flick some of that pink, which you can't really tell from, from here, but yeah, you know, the odd pink splash across the page. Uh, next I grabbed, this is a water-soluble graphite pencil by Lyra. I wanted some sort of doodly marks and I went for this because it kind of reminded me of sort of birds sitting on a wire, on a telephone wire or something. So although it's kind of abstract, um, that's what it reminded me of. And um, I'm just grabbing some off using a brush just to create a few darker little areas to create some shadowing. Right, now there's a lot, a lot of auditioning of the various different aspects to try and decide where I want to put things. I decided that that was too thick, so, uh, too wide even, so I am um, cut that down a little bit. And just playing around with where I want the little pocket and my little daughter to be sitting. And I decided to take some of the fabric uh, the lace there, um, some more of those little birds, and um, and sort of embellish this little pocket a bit. So just playing around with placement there. Couldn't decide whether to include the barcode there or elsewhere. And um, I just, off camera, in a second, will whiz that together on my sewing machine. There we are. I decided that I definitely want it in that little, in that corner down there. So stick it down. And um, I should say I already had my words ready for this page, which is my little bird, um, which is kind of set the whole theme that and the the, the bird fabric, sort of set the whole theme for this. So. Um, because I was using a photograph of my daughter, I kind of knew or, or I knew what words I wanted. So I hunted through a fairy tale book and um, and found the words I needed. So I decided to make a separate little embellishment here with the barcode. So I've just added some gesso there and I'm just adding another little tiny piece of that sweetie bag. And this is where my butterflies are going to come in. Um, I'm having them dangling down from that barcode there. Just playing around with what other bits and bobs I want to add. And I decide that it needs a little bit more colour. So I grab my watercolours. Um, and I'm just going to add similar colours to the background here. So I'm going to use blue and um, some yellow and pink. Just a hint of it. There we go. So I bring the uh, book back and see whereabouts I want this. Decide I want it over there on the right and as a little flip. And um, I wanted to use up that the rest of that little bird fabric so that is going to go underneath. And I'm just going to stick that there with a bit of glue. wouldn't quite stick so in the end again I off camera with that uh, attach that to the page using the sewing machine there we are and I like I like that because I like the I, the added um, loose threads and stuff that that, that, that comes from uh, using the sewing machine What am I doing now? Oh yes, so now I'm just adding the words that I found. My little bird just over there on the pocket. Okay, and then I kind of decided that the background still needed a little something. Um, 
so I grabbed some stamps. Here we are. I'm sorry, I'm slightly off camera in this in in this bit, but um, it's like a little well, it kind of looks like hessiany type material, like a yeah, some sort of um uh, fabricy type pattern. Um, and then I grab my date stamp. Now, what you can't see are, on the back of the photograph is the date that that photo was taken. Um, and I wanted today's date on the page just as a comparison um, because she doesn't de definitely doesn't look like that now. And there we are. So there we go, my, bir my barcode, blue butterflies and blue stripes. Um, my old photograph. And lots of fabric. <laughs> There's loads of fabric all over there. And that's it. Thank you for joining me. I'll see you again soon. Bye.